This is the Drake Star System. It is a Class GV star located 16.3 parsecs, 53.138 light years from the solar system at a right ascension of 12 hours, 31 minutes, 8.21 seconds and a declination of negative 43 degrees, 3 minutes, 49.45 seconds. Drake has seven planets in orbit around itself, three gas giants and four terrestrial planets. Positioned 145 million kilometers from the surface of Drake is its fourth planet, Drake E. Drake E, despite its unassuming name, has some special characteristics. It is located at just the right distance from its star to consistently have liquid water on its surface. Also, high levels of oxygen have been detected in its atmosphere. This means that there is life here. Life fundamentally similar to Terran life. Life on Drake E extends no further than high tide, but the seas are dense with life. Similar to the Cambrian era on Earth, the relatively recent appearance of multicellular organisms has increased selective pressures and fueled an explosion in diversity. Here, a herd of Volosabulos is grazing on Vibroius leaves. The Vibroius kingdom is similar to funguses on Earth. However, Vibroius organisms gain energy by undulating. The Volosabulos has three eyes on its back to watch for hexamatuses, predatory squid-like creatures. One dives into the herd and it promptly scatters. Narrowly evading the hexamatuses' mouth tentacles, the volusibulos speed away. The hexamatus is built for quick attacks. In a chase, the volusibulos, though slower, is able to outmaneuver its large, sightless attacker. The Temporarily stunned Hexomatus rests in the sand a moment before once again searching for a meal. A patch of tower ferns is home to Antlia Pisces, filter feeding herbivores which move by the use of pumps. The Hexomatus snatches a three pump Antlia Pisces easily and begins to digest it externally. The Antlia Pisces writhes from the pain of being dissolved alive. After a few moments, the Antelia Pisces pumps difibulate and it dies. The Hexamatus savors its victory, but ever hungry, it is soon on the hunt again. However, being a primary consumer, the Hexamatus must also watch out for large predators which would like to eat it. Watch is used loosely here, as the Hexamatus's dominant senses are taste and a method of hearing through its mouth tentacles. Its twelve eyes are very weak and can do little more than distinguish between light and dark. Open ocean Multiremus slides quietly into the Hexamatus's wake. Approaching from behind, it is able to get its jaws over its prey unnoticed. With a quick dive forward, Multiremus is able to get a firm grip on the Hexarmatus. The Hexarmatus tries to wriggle free from the embrace of the Multiremus's four jointed tentacles, but it is rendered apart before it can escape. A loose tentacle slips from the mouth of the Multiremus and drifts to a nutrient poor patch of the seabed. A Felix Repo crawling fern which has evolved to move like a caterpillar along the ocean floor, encounters the tentacle and rests to absorb the nutrients it will release as it rots. The death of one organism will now benefit another at the base of the food chain. One of the many cycles of the ecosystem has now been observed. These are only a few creatures from one of the many ecosystems here on Drake E.